I would say two of my favorite abandoned locations are churches and basketball courts. There's something special about shooting a dilapidated church. It's something that was so valued and considered for all of a sudden is just falling apart. There's something interesting about being somewhere first and then coming back to it and then again and again and seeing how it falls apart over time where you can just tell the environment is finally taking hold on its prey. There will be a point in time where this place won't be standing anymore. In that moment, that place is gone and gone forever. So one thing that I always love to do is, as a explorer and a creative myself, I like to tag locations in an area that's not obvious or in the middle of everybody's sight. But I don't want to ruin any of the environment. I don't want to ruin the photo of why somebody came there. I just want them to know that I was there first. I grew up playing basketball. Basketball was just very iconic and fun for me. So to be able to see it in a completely different light, it's something that I'm just drawn to and I always will be drawn to. Basketball courts are usually found in schools. So when you're exploring an elementary school, it's always a little bit creepier when you know that kids have been playing on this court for years. To know that this isn't even a, a place to play anymore, it's just like a place almost of sorrow. And here you are with just like a camera shooting it while the paint falls off the walls. The city was created by architects to be one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And just having that as a playground taught me everything that I needed. It taught me about light, symmetry, rule of thirds, anything that had to do with lines like the city of Chicago has taught me. Hex, it's a company that I really support and it's a company that I can contribute to. It was amazing for me to get the opportunity to receive a bag early and not only give my opinions and thoughts on it, but actually have those opinions and thoughts come to fruition. I know what's best when it comes to my camera backpack, and this is it. I think a lot of the times people see the end result and they don't see what it took to get that photo. They don't see the mission it took to drive two hours to the middle of nowhere or putting my life on the line to really fight and crawl my way to get that photo and then crawl back out. And then once we out, we run in for the car, 